This is how fast food udon noodles are made in Japan. So a lot of you commented that you wanted another Made in Japan video. Well, here it is. This time, I'm in front of Marugabe Seimen. Today, I'm gonna take you inside behind the counter and show you how this fast food noodle shop truly earns the title Made in Japan. But before I start, if you guys wanna see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you guys wanna help support the channel, check out the Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. All right, let's start from the beginning. Marugami Semen is a popular self-service fast food udon chain in Japan with more than 850 stores throughout, most known for their sanuki style udon since 2000. You may think a fast food chain not to be a worthy candidate for a made in Japan video, but hold on to your chopsticks because you've probably never seen how fast food noodles are made in Japan. Alright Salmen, but before I go into the kitchen, I'm gonna need a chain, so let's do that right now. Alright, there we go, let's do this. So I'm just in front of the counter here. I'm about to take you behind, but look at this. This is where it all starts. This is where all the magic happens. Let's go see what goes on. First things first, let's go check out their udon noodles. It's probably fair to assume that their noodles are made and shipped from a central kitchen or factory, but this chain makes their noodles from scratch. Every day in store so that they can serve the freshest noodles possible. First, their staff fixes the raw ingredients. Oh, she's checking the temperature of the salt and water. The ingredients for don't are simple, flour, salt, and water. But since the ingredients are so simple, the condition of the ingredients have to be absolutely perfect and the measurements precise in order to produce the same quality of noodles each and every time. Now she carefully mixes the water and salt, making sure to dissolve every grain. Next, she pours the salted water into the mixer, carefully taking into account every drop of water and speck of flour. Udon is such a sensitive food that a small discrepancy in the measurements can result in a huge difference in quality, consistency, and flavor, so the staff must keep the difference under 0.1 grams. Finally, the dough is inspected by hand. The weather does play a role in the preparation process, so the staff must be skilled enough to make adjustments accordingly. In fact, the shop even have specialized staff known as Menshokunin, aka Udon Master. There are only 245 company licensed noodle masters out of 20,000 workers nationwide. Now, the finished dough gets placed into an aging container to rest overnight. Then, the kneading process begins. Aged dough from the previous day is kneaded by these machines. This dough is called zabuton, which is the same word for a flat Japanese seat cushion. Kneading dough by machine looks easy and straightforward, but apparently if the dough isn't kneaded equally from every direction, the dough structure breaks down and loses its texture, which is again why this process is performed by a skilled artisan. I don't know about you, but despite being at fast food, it's crazy to see how all of it is done by hand. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Hi. How much udon do you make in a day? What's the most difficult thing about making udon? What's your favorite udon at the shop? What do you think is the key to making delicious udon? After the dough is adequately kneaded, it's promptly placed into the cutter to produce these beautiful strands of udon and then quickly dipped into a boiling tank of water. The noodle master ensures that the surface of the noodles are first cooked and then stirs them so they are cooked evenly. This helps create a difference in water retention between the surface of the noodle and inside of it, producing a bouncy texture with a strong body. Who knew that there would be so much beauty in this noodle science? This is probably my favorite part, seeing all the food get fried. And just like the noodles, it's made all by hand, and not just four or five kinds. Look at all of these fried pieces of joy! 
This is their top selling tempura, kashiwa tem, which is a juicy chicken breast tempura. And the secret to this hitter is careful preparation. The chicken is pre soaked and treated to remove any traces of blood before it's added to their shop's secret marinade, which locks in the chicken's moisture and umami. What's that? Oh, and as they fry the tempura, the tenkatsu udon topping is also made. Let's find out a little bit more about my favorite section in this whole place. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Hi. What's the secret of the shop's delicious tempura? Do you have any recommended combinations of tempura and udon? This shop offers 8 basic tempura items like vegetable kakiyage, squid, and sweet potato. And then on top of that, 3-5 to five seasonal items all freshly fried throughout the day and always ready to go before the store opens. This just looks so good, let's have a moment of silence and enjoy this fried loveliness. Before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to our regular sponsor, Boksu. If you don't already know, Boksu provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks delivered to your front door. They work with traditional Japanese factories, some over 100 years old, to provide you with authentic Japanese flavors. And each monthly box has its own unique theme, so you get new snacks every time. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box, and after that, you'll get a theme box like this one. Right when you open up the box, you get a nice booklet that takes you through each snack, as well as extra information about Japan, which helps you to get to know more about Japanese culture. You get 10 to 20 25 snacks in your box depending on the package you choose. And they're all handpicked from all over Japan. So get 10% off your own authentic Japanese subscription box from Booksu and save up to $47 using my code PALO10 and link in the description. That said, let's continue on. Wow, these onigiri are looking so fresh. At this store, they make about 100 onigiri a day. The shop uses 100% made in Japan rice and topped off with the filling used to help customers know what's inside. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Hi. Do you have any special techniques when making onigiri? <laughs> Then the onigiri is wrapped one by one and placed on the display. And of course, dashi is made in store as well, more than six times a day. Their dashi recipe has remained unchanged since the store's opening. Made from kombu, or in English, kelp, and several types of dried fish. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Uh, What's so different about this dashi? And what's the key to making delicious dashi? Finally, the dashi is mixed with a special sweet sauce mix called kaeshi to complete the umami infused creation. So right before the store opens, all the staff gather for a quick morning meeting called Chore to discuss any company related matters. Oh, and that's the men's shokunin. I guess she's the store manager here. Now all the food is prepared and the store is ready for customers. And just in case you didn't know how a fast food noodle shop works in Japan, let me try to show you. Okay, let's see if we can follow this lady as she orders. So first things first, she selects the type of udon she wants, as there are many options. The staff then quickly prepare her bowl with their freshly made noodles. After receiving it, she has the option to pick any of the side dishes like the tempura or the onigiri. Oh, it looks like she ordered the kake udon, and this shop, she gets to pour the dashi on her own. Finally, if she wants, she can gather any of the free toppings, green onions, tenkatsu, or ginger, and then she's all set to find a table. So we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys liked this Made in Japan video. If you did, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.